Hi everyone, my name is Kurt Nikola Koski, and today I'm going to show you a lap around Circuit de la Salle from the Mercedes Benz Sauber C9. To start the lap, you want to have a good speed to set yourself up nicely for turn one. Got a good entry, break just after the apex of the Dunlop curve before the turtle sign, drop down to second gear, keep on the inside on the left as well as the right, have a straight exit out of Dunlop corner. Going down to the S, you want to keep to the right, break down in third. Hug the inside on the left so you can get a better exit on the right. Be careful not to go out on the gravel on the left. The touch rouge, stay in fourth gear. Good, get a good out and out line so you can get a better exit and optimize your speed on the straight. Now the important thing on the Le Honor Biel is to just drain the gears as much as you can. Have a good top speed. Before the first chicane, you want to break in between the 200 and 100 meter mark. Drop down to third gear. Keep on the inside on the right as well as the left. Be patient with the throttle so that you don't exceed track limits. Also, don't lose momentum as well. Let's go through fourth and up into fifth gear. Nearing over 300 kilometers per hour. For the second chicane, do the same thing, just in the opposite direction. Break a bit closer to the 100 meter mark than before. Stay in third. Keep on the left a bit more than the other previous chicane so you can get a better exit. Also be patient so you don't exceed track limits. And you want to have a straight line as possible through the Mulsang kink. And then coming up to Mulsang corner once again, you just drain the gears as much as possible to have a nice top speed. Now before this corner on the right, you want to watch out for that information board, the black box on the top right of the screen, brake down, keep to the left, drop down the second gear, hold in nicely through the corner and push as, as soon as possible as you can strain your wheel and have good traction. Keep on the inside of both these small, very shallow right handers and coming up into Indianapolis, you want to take off the throttle right after you've passed the green asphalt on the left, then as soon as you pass the apex on the right, you want to start braking. Turn in earlier in seconds, utilize the curve on the right, change into third gear, but then break back down into second just before the 50 meter mark on the left. Have a good out in out line so you can push coming out of the corner in second gear and just push through the corners uh, through the gears once again. Coming into Porsche curve, it's really important to have the brake balance set to the rear so you can turn in the car easier. Slow down right after the green asphalt on the left. Stay in fourth gear, hug the right. Do the same for the left and second left after that. Don't touch the barrier on the outside. For this next right, you stay in third gear. Keep in more and more so you can get a better exit and change into fourth while you're doing that transition going to the left. On the Mazon Blanche, again, you just push through the gears and for the forward chicane, break a bit before the white line starts on the right. Go over the first chicane in third gear, drop down to second. Get the last chicane in second, have a nice exit so you can push all the way to the finish line. That's the lap of Le Mans. Good luck with your races. Driving with the best.